Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and Sagittarius, today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. Let's talk about this person, shall we, Chandra? Let's see what, first of all, you want from this connection. Let's find out what they want from this connection. Let's find out how they're feeling in the present moment and what you can expect in the near future. Spirit guys, talk to us. All right, we got palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. And we have mirror. You're mirroring each other. Self-image, reflecting wounds, and some introspection. All right, so you guys are mirroring each other. Let's see what's up. Let's see what this means. Let's talk about it. And Sajay, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. So what you want is the Ace of Pentacles. What they want is the Seven of Wands. Their feelings are the Three of Wands and their actions in the near future. I just saw the sun. He just poked his nose out, but she did not appear. We got the Four of Cups. Okay, that's their actions. And on the bottom, we got the Strength. We'll be dealing with the Leo. All right, are those all on camera? I hope you can see all your cards here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Ace of Pentacles is what you want. You want a beginning. <laughs> so if there's a history with this person, you want a fresh start, you want a new beginning, you want things to progress forward. If you're just getting to know this person, you just you definitely want an offer maybe of commitment, progress this to the next level. What's the energy here around the Ace of Pentacles for what Sajay wants from the person on their mind? Talk to us. What do we got here, Saj? There's that strength. Definitely could be dealing with the Leo or a Libra. Whoa, Ten of Pentacles. Damn, there's the Ace of Wands. This is marriage energy here. So you want this for the long term. You are in this for the long haul here, Sajay. Ten of Pentacles, Justice, Strength, Ace of Wands. This is a lot of physical attraction and desire for this person. So you think this person's a sexy beast. And the Ten of Pentacles, Justice. Um, and like I said, this could be marriage. For some of you, this is 10 plus years. Some of you, it could be marriage. You just want a fresh start, a new beginning in the marriage. Whatever that energy is, this is long term. You see a long, you see a life with this person here, Saj. So... You definitely want things to progress forward. Now, what they want is the Seven of Wands. So what does it all mean? What does it all mean? What is the Seven of Wands for the person on Saji's mind? What do they want from Saj? What do they want from this connection? Two of Wands. Yeah, they see a future. Oh, there's a Six of Pentacles. Hmm. What's the Hermit? What the hell? Lovers. Wow. They've been... Uh, and there's the Eight of Pentacles. Your person has really been thinking. <laughs> they got their thinking cap on. They've been thinking about you a lot. So I feel like they've done a lot of um, introspection here, a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating. We do have this energy of introspection. So I'm going to say that energy is coming from your person with the Seven of Wands and the Hermit energy. They also see a future with you. Um, with the Two of Wands, that's planning the future. The Six of Pentacles is wanting to give to this, wanting to invest. Now, they could be giving to other people. Or they could be worried you're giving to other people because the Six of Pentacles can be that energy of giving to more than one person. But I'm also being drawn to the scales, which we had in your energy, which represents justice. It represents balance. So I feel they want to give to this. I feel like they've been thinking a lot. They clearly feel a very strong connection here with the lovers. This is a card of soulmate energy. Um, but it's also the card of big decisions. So they have a decision to make. Um, and the eight of pentacles is telling me here, Sad, that they've decided that they want to connect with you. They see a future with you. They see a life with you as well. So you both see a future together. You're both in this for the long haul. Now the three of wands is their feelings. <laughs> Let's see what it all means. Cause the three of wands is, you know, you manifest something. You're waiting for what you manifested. It's exactly what you want. So you, you know, you have the qualities that they look for in a person here. They have deep feelings. There's a king of cups. Could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That two of wands is there again. There you are. Uh, I think a person's in love with you. <laughs> with the king of cups and the two of wands here in the temperance. You're what they want. You're what they've been waiting for. They may have manifested you. If you're separated, they may have manifested you back into their life. Um, but I also feel like with the three of wands, you're waiting for the right time to tell you this. So I'm not sure how expressive they've been because like we said, we had that introspective energy, a little bubble around her. She's not really expressing herself here. Um, feel like maybe they're rejecting other offers or other people who are trying to get up in their energy. They ain't interested in nobody, but you, um, don't know what else to say. They have very deep feelings. They see a future. Um, they've been waiting for someone like you, but here's the, here's the curious situation here. Cause we have the four of cups, which is their actions. That's not doing anything. What does it all mean? What is the action here? What is the four of cups here? Why are they holding back? Why are they in the four of cups energy? What is this? Four of Wands in reverse. The devil. It could be dealing with the Capricorn. Six of Swords. What the heck? Temp judgment. Ten of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. 
everything in divine timing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's taking place. They're trying to get over something. Um, with the four of cups, they could very well have several energies in their, in their life. And they're trying to kind of remove some of them. There could be an imbalance here with the four of wands in the reverse. There's, there could be addictions here that they're trying to move past and get over everything in divine timing, but your person's trying to let go of something here with this 10 of swords. I don't feel it's with you. No, they're stressed out. So something going on in your person's energy here. And it could be why there's, you know, maybe these aren't other people. They could be job, careers, family, kids, fur babies, you know, <sighs> fur babies can be very expensive and very stressful when your fur baby gets sick, right? My dog has incontinence and damn, whenever that gets out of control, there's like pee everywhere. It's stressful. We're always at the vet doing all these things. Um, so there's just a little bit of a disharmony and balance in your person's life here that they're trying to work through. I don't see them doing anything. So, all right, all right. They're waiting for the right time. So, Sag, let's grab some oracles. We'll see what's up. I don't really see your person doing much or progressing this forward here in the near future. They're holding back here with the strength, and they're having the... Cur oh, shit, just lost my date. I got to find a better solution. My date keeps going away, but it is September 15th, 2023, as I'm doing this reading. <laughs> so... We'll find a better solution for that. Just give me some time. Give me some time, baby. Let's grab some oracles here, Sag. We'll find out where you guys are in a month. So um, see where you guys are doing, how things are going. Spirit guides, what does Sagittarius need to surrender to here? Ah, your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Okay, okay, okay. What's the caring connection here for Sag? And that person on their mind. Ooh, temptation. Think carefully about the situation. All right. And the hidden truth. Well, that sucked. Let's redo that. What the hell is my problem here? All right, let's redo it. Let's redo it. The hidden truth. <laughs> All right, fuck that shit. Let's just get the hidden truth. Spirit guys, if they could say something that they're not saying, they want to say, they should. Maybe they shouldn't, but the sad Jay needs to know. What is it, baby? What is it? What do we got? I want you. Yeah, we know this. We know this. Just being near you is intoxicating. We didn't know that, but now we do, baby. Now we do. Okay. So let's see where you guys are in a month. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, Sajay, let's see where you are in a month. Let's see how things progress. Let's see if anything progresses. Right now, there's a little bit of withdrawal. There's not really a lot of forward movement. You want some forward movement. They want some forward movement, but nothing's really happening. So let's talk about it. Where's Sajay and this person on their mind in a month? What do we got here? We got the Ace of Swords. We got some truth. We got some communication coming through. Let's see how you feel about this communic... Damn, okay. We got the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Still got the Four of Cups. Double hmm. We got the Three of Cups. Triple hmm. No, I'm just being silly. Okay. Page of Cups. The Devil. Could be on Capricorn. I can't remember if I said the signs. Crap. We got Capricorn energy. We got water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We got air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So the fact is, there's going to be a little bit of a change here. You don't really see it coming. So if you look at this Queen of Swords, she's got this little thing over her eyes. I know she doesn't really have a face in this deck, but it really does represent like blindfolds over her eyes. She's kind of feeling things, getting the feel for it, trying to figure out where to go. She has a decision to make. She's very different than the other Queen of Swords in the other's decks, right? She's not mad. Her sword's not up. She's not on guard. She's not defensive. So I feel some truth is coming in here and you're going to learn a few things about this person. Um, and I just get this, you're trying to feel things out kind of energy. So I feel you just trying to feel things out. I, I don't know what that exactly means, but that's the feeling that I get. Um, so I hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> With the four of cups and the three of cups. So we're going from contemplation, thinking about you a lot, wondering how to offer you this cup of love, wondering how to move forward here to contacting you, wanting to date you, wine and dine you, take you out, chat, get to know you maybe more or progress this forward or just reunite if, you know, depending whatever your situation is with the person on your mind. Now, page of cups and the devil, there is um, some not to talk here in the future. This could be sexting, this could be flirting via text, um, but really this is just the messages of the heart. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, there's just serious, um, sick of six of wands, baby, a lot of attention, a lot of success. I always, anyway, so the devil and the strength is just serious lust, passion, physical attractions off the chart. No doubt you guys are attracted to one another. And I see things progressing forward. The four pentacles and the lovers. Yeah. So the four pentacles in this deck is again, quite different. This is about balance. This is about harmony. This is about stability. So you're building stability. You guys are working on this. Um, I feel the withdrawal or the lack of progress is coming to an end. Whatever's going on in this person's life, they're coming to talk to you. That's Sorry, I bit my nails. I try not to bite my nails, but I, I'm a nail biter, nail biter. Um, we have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So 
Truth is coming through. Clarity is coming through. You guys are dating, getting to know each other. You know, like I said, a little naughty talk, a little this, little that. Um, and you're progressing this forward, creating some kind of balance and stability in this connection. Now, do I see a commitment? No. I see two people moving forward and progressing. So whatever that means to where you are in your situation, if you're already in a commitment, there's just a reuniting here. And if you're not, you're just dating, getting to know each other more, um, expressing your feelings and just speaking the truth and get to the bottom of um, whatever this, this delay has been. So Saj, that's what's up, that's what's going on, that's what I got today. So, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe, helps my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Saj, you truly, truly do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no, what's the answer for Sagittarius? All right. Are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. No, <laughs> chariot reverse. That's what I got, Saj. Truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.